So the first thing that Mimi and team are doing is they have to understand what the issue is. And so in this room, as well as in other places, they actually figured it out and reproduced the issue. Now what has to happen, of course, they're steps ahead and actually they need to coordinate with Perseverance. And you know, the whole geometry of the only can give it on the day and then upload, make uh, patches and so forth. So it's off the order days to actually get that fixed. Anything you wanted to add beyond that? No, just exactly to emphasize, best is to analyze, nailed it, we have nailed, we know exactly where it went wrong, test the solution, and then now test it in on the helicopter side through here, the simulated all the way to the helicopter. And the next test is with the rover on how to transfer the solution to Ingenuity on Mars. And so the next step is to start uploading the solution to Mars. And that's, that's the step. So beyond that, we'll load it to Ingenuity and then go back to the spin speed test. This is a flight experiment, first of a kind. Ingenuity is on the surface of Mars for the first time. So yes, absolutely. We are always aware every day on Mars is considered precious. And so if you know the every view that we take to you know debug and put the solution, it does take away, you know, from the time that we want to be experimenting on Mars. So great question, and we do want to get there as fast as we can but we want to do it very carefully, but as fast as we can, and that's the fine line that we've been walking. Maybe just a question. Is there any indication that anything happened in the meantime? You're watching it every day. Is the helicopter healthy? So far, the helicopter has been healthy. We have been talking ingenuity every single day. The energy, thermal, communications are all working on me. So based on the photos taken from Perseverance Rover, we are observing some dust on the solar panel and the blades. The good news is that we've confirmed that the energy that we are garnering and the state of charge that we get the battery to as a function of time matches our models very well. So the dust appears to be fine. So the solar panel performance has not been degraded to affect our energy model. So, you know, if they blow up as we fly, it could, but if they stay, we're okay. And same with the blades, no impact. And this is the month of ingenuity. So it really, the time frame at which it needs to stay clean is a month for all the missions that we've had. It's really over years where the solar panels get uh, to weaken. So, so I doubt this is going to be a big issue, right? You know, from the beginning, at least the Ingenuity app insisted it be called a helicopter because we have to start how to design from the very basics, from the fundamentals of the lift and the drag that this blade, you know, would make. And we build up from there to say how fast do we have to sample, you know, the state of the vehicle, how fast do we have to control. Because Mars atmosphere is so different, we had to start from the fundamentals. So I feel this, the reason is we are designing a helicopter for Mars for the first time. Now, tell us, we succeed one day, Mars helicopters become a norm in the way we explore Mars, complementary to rovers and spacecraft. At that point, please call them drones, absolutely. 